Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Click on advanced options. Then we need to select troubleshoot. Then select advanced options and then click on command prompt. Type chkdsk slash f slash r c colon and hit enter to execute the command now wait for some time to complete the process once done move to the next step now type c colon and hit enter then type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type cd space windows and hit enter to execute the command then type cd space system32 and hit enter to execute the command type in cd space config and simply hit enter to execute the command now type md backup and simply hit enter now type copy star dot star backup and simply hit enter to execute the command now type md space backup1 and simply hit enter now type copy star dot star backup1 and simply hit enter to execute the command type in cd space regback and hit enter to execute the command now type dir and then simply hit enter to execute the command now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter then type all and hit enter now type bootrec space slash fix mbr and simply hit enter type bootrec space slash fix boot and hit enter type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now execute this command type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash regback then simply hit enter to execute this command now type this command bcd edit space slash exports space c colon slash bcd backup then hit enter now type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type this md space boot and hit enter now execute this command type cd space boot and simply hit enter now execute this command type md space bcd type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type attrib c colon slash boot slash bcd dash h dash r dash s and hit enter type in ren c colon backslash boot backslash bcd bcd dot old and simply hit enter to execute this command now execute this command type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and simply hit enter to execute this command type exit and hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go